and we're recording. Nice. New game. Resident Evil. Let's see. I would say subtitles on. Uh, yeah. Uh, question, how do you like your games? Like climbing a mountain, fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. Like going on a hike, good exercise, but not too strenuous. Uh, like taking a walk, you can relax and enjoy yourself. Now, the different game types here, uh, this is obviously just easy. You're going to have lots of ammo, lots of herbs, all that stuff. Uh taking a walk and just enjoy the scenery. Yeah. Uh, this one is the just the moderate playthrough. Everything is standard. You get a uh, relatively decent amount to make it through, maybe lacking at some points, but overall it's normal to normal hard. Now, this is a completely different game type um, because the zombies, uh, when you kill them, they don't just disappear or anything. They stay on the ground, and after a duration of time, they'll be reborn as these, like, uh, mutated zombies with, like, these big claws and stuff, and they'll come running at you. And if you don't burn them, you got to burn all the bodies. Oh, nice. That's, you... that's the one that is a true challenge, and it's actually... It takes... You have to be really careful about, like, uh, uh, what zombies you're burning to, because you only have a limited amount of fuel. Yeah. So you're carrying around a little flask with fuel in it, and you gotta burn. That sounds fucking awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. And uh, then if you forget to burn a zombie, then... Well, you know this game a lot better than me, because I've never actually played it. I've got not very far in, like, probably like 30 minutes into the game. 30 minutes to an hour, so... You know this game probably inside and out, right? Uh, well, I did. But it's been so long since I've played through the game in its entirety that... What do you think? It's going to take... It's what do you think, though? I mean, I I think we should definitely uh, climb a mountain. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Good. Now, uh, characters, Jill or Chris? Well, that's up to you. I know you like the women. I like Jill. Yeah. Jill's awesome. <laughs> Let's just do Jill. And this is Resident Evil 1. Yes. Just in case yes. anybody didn't catch the title screen. The remake. The HD remake. Yeah. On Steam. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre yeah, murder cases have recently event. occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Oh, poor Kevin. They touched these up. We continued our they search for the other up, members. We? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it turned into a nightmare. Well, the GameCube version wasn't in HD either, so. Yeah. That makes a huge difference. Especially considering that the textures on GameCube were already so beautiful to begin with. Or did they touch these videos up? Did they do that? Or is this what it's The video? Oh, you're talking about the, the I'm talking about cut this. Scenes. Yeah, the cutscenes. That I'm not sure.
I don't think that's good. I'm not saying it doesn't look good. He got ripped. Which one's Chris? The uh, Chris Redfield, the guy with the dark hair. Yeah. Okay. There are only three Stars members left now: Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Dining room. Let's see. There's no reason to say yet. I'm just going to skip that. And come back to it. You got to kind of uh, conserve ink ribbons a little bit, too. Yeah, I forgot about those things. Those are. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. I'll be examining this blood that's blood while you go journey elsewhere. I'm gonna examine this. It's not a whole lot to see there, Barry. It's just blood. Oh my God, Maybe I should have saved. <laughs> oh, uh, oh man, that's okay. We can edit that. It's, it's been it. It's been a long time. We don't have to edit that. We don't have to edit that because uh, it's just it takes a minute to get used to the old Resident Evil controls. You know. Yeah. Um, on the GameCube version, they had we can't we can't skip through the the cutscene a little bit. On the GameCube version that I, I was playing, they have a bunch of different control schemes. So I was using like the R trigger or something to move forward, like holding the R trigger down. I move forward that way. Right. Um.
Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in the northwest. We just skip all this and jump straight to. Uh... There are only three stars members left now, Captain West. Let's try this again. It's a nice clock. Let me let flake him. Just keep, keep I going. I think you'd better take oh, a look I'm, at I'm this. I'm gonna keep going. Um, because I really need to change the uh, inversion to... Uh, let's see. And... Defensive items on manual. Um, I don't see inversion. Would only be in. I'm looking for uh, to invert the analog stick, but I don't see it. That's the only option. Wouldn't be. No. All right. Well, I guess I'll just get used to that. It's fine. Uh, and then quick turn is. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay. That's all right. This is the first video. Yeah. Mistakes, so. Just a just a minor setback. All right. All right, I'm gonna get this bastard now. Can you stomp on their heads, or is that something that was something new? Was that in this one? It <laughs> might be. Well, hello, kitty cat. <laughs> You're not causing distraction at all. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see who this dead body is. This neck's kind of twisted around a little bit. Mm-hmm. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. Looks like he's holding something. Oh, sweet. Hmm. Okay. This is... This is, uh... This is Benny's cat. This is Benny. Benny's cat. This is Wait. Right. We didn't even introduce ourselves. We didn't introduce ourselves. My name's Kyle, and Benny's the dude who's playing. And this is his cat. His dick cat. Okay. Barry! What is it? Look as soon as out, you welcome him, he's done. Yeah. Hey, I just killed Let you. Let me take care of it. Fucking dumb. Yeah, you know. Close it on. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. All right, let's get back to Wesker then. I'm gonna go ahead and save it now, though. Yeah. Uh, you got past the hard part. <laughs> got past. <laughs> I got past one zombie, so. It's gonna get much more difficult and tedious than that, so. But I'm gonna overwrite this. Is that upstairs? Mm, I'm not sure where that came from. There is a balcony up there. Wesker! 
Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. No. Wesker just like disappears, right? He doesn't show up until later in the game. Uh yeah, it's quite quite a bit later. Yeah. And even and even Barry disappears, doesn't he? I think I go down For a here. little bit, and then you're on your own. And then Barry shows up uh yeah. later to save you from the room or whatever. Right. The one that's gonna make fall, me a Jill sandwich. Yeah. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay. Good idea. I'll Everyone's already separate, separated, so... <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the so first let's floor. Split up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right. <laughs> I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need it. Listen, Thanks, Barry. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Okay, so... I think... One of the first areas you go to is over here. I don't think you go back through... Yeah, it's over here. Hey, Chris Grant. What is it? What is it? Oh, I gotta figure out how to reload. I think it's, um... reload is if I even have additional ammunition. Yeah, I don't, so I can't reload. Um, behind this... Oh, how do you get on top? It's a very specific way I should probably go about doing this, and I'll explain what oh. I'm what I'm gonna do. Yeah, aren't you just supposed to push it out of the way? Yeah, we grab this. There's a zombie down that hallway, right? Right, but I can trap it. I go back there and get whatever item is back there, and then I can trap him back there with this uh, suitcase and never have to worry about him again. Uh -huh. And he'll just kind of whoops. He'll just kind of hang out there. need to push it back against the door before I go back there. If I can get down this way, okay. Strategic planning here. This game's ambiance is incredible. Uh, I probably need to figure out how to use defensive items. I did. I set it to manual, so I wouldn't. Them up if I didn't need to. You just equip them and, and hit a button. Whenever. Yeah, it's just a button. Uh, whenever you're getting grabbed. Yeah. To equip the defensive item, go to the status screen and select it from the and select an item from the defensive item menu. If your defense. Oh, uh, it's LB. Okay. There you go. Um, 
and I can. He's gonna pop in. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna jump in, but I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to whip him away around you. So. Ah. What? Don't trip. And keep the defensive. Oh, oh no, shit. There it is. I said it to I said <laughs> I said it to manual. Oh man. Uh, Get do it. I'm working on it. Uh well now, if you kill him, can you get the item back? No. Oh, yeah. No. Um I guess it's a good tutorial on how to use defensive items, but I do want to set defensive items onto manual because I don't want to just use them. Frivolously, um, I could have swore I turned it on. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's on. It's on manual now. All right. Emblem of a sword. Oops. An emblem of a sword. <laughs> well. <laughs> There, it's that. There part. we go. All right. I'll get the controls down. It's just, it just takes. Nice. Man, they're fucking clunky. They, they are clunky. Man, though, when I used to speed run Resident Evil 2, though, oh my god, that was so. You get it all back. I'll get it. Yeah. Um, I think. I guess I should go back in here. I it's thought, not terrible once you get used to it. I mean, it's no. not that bad. It's just get I used mean, to. Just I made while. the argument that they were actually good controls at one point, but I don't think they're good controls. They're just different. They're just different. They're not. Yeah, it's not like it's good or bad. It's just different. You just retrain your brain. I don't want to fill my inventory up, so I'm going to leave that there. What's What's that? It's an emblem. I'll come back whenever I oh. actually need it. Is that for the room? But oh, um, go ahead. What? It's uh, that's for the room where the spinning guy comes and he's gonna. Uh, you go up the stairs. There's a thing. You take a key, and then the walls start closing this way, and the spinning thing is gonna. The the is that oh it? with the, all the uh, the suits of armor. Yeah, right. Right. Is that it? I think you've got to use a. There, there's a pressure plate or something in there that you got to put something in. It might be that. I think it is that, and I don't think I ever got that emblem. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just thinking that's that may have been a piece that I didn't have. Oh wait, that's a that's a clip. Yeah, I'll take the handgun magazine. Now I need to figure out how to reload. Because I think it's, uh, X, right? Just hold it down and press something. Just look at the controls. I thought it was just hold down. Uh, reload. B. Oh, it's, it's B while aiming. Okay. There we go. Um... He's not going to get up at any point. I'm going to leave those herbs there. Again, I don't want to fill up my inventory unless I absolutely yeah. need to until I get to an item box. hallway like so many times to get to different points this is it this, this is, is the room this is the room you go up there there's uh yeah there's the a dude that you're or talking something about. yeah this is the part that i know i got a little bit there's the pressure this. plate yeah and i don't take it you'll die there's no I couldn't figure well, it out. Well, if you pull the key out, then... Uh, the, the, all three of these walls end up coming in. Right. 
Actually, there's a spike guy well, right here. You need here. to put another key in there. Yeah. Not the, not that shield. Okay. You go, know? go, yeah. Go, go that way. There is something there. There's a door, I think. It might be locked. Yeah. Helm, emblem of a helmet. helmet. Is that it? What kind of a key is this? Can I look at it first? Like pick it up and look at it, but not just, take it. Just don't. Just don't do it. You're gonna die. Whoever takes this key. Oh man. No. Don't do it. Well, what if I can stick it right back in though, right? No. Yeah, I can. No, Why could I not? Can't. Why could I not put it right that. back in? You know you can't do that. There's no way you can do that. I bet I can. It's not. Just hit no. Because, because I mean, why would you not be able to? Because you can't. Go back downstairs. You can put it back in. I guarantee you. No, you can put it back why in. would it go back up? Be uh, I don't know. Oh, man. Fuck. I'm pretty sure you can put it right back in. Hang on. You just Hang killed on. Jill. Hang on. Hang on. What is it? Oh, yeah, on the back. Oh, it's arm. Is that arm? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we just use... Bingo. Okay. So it's an armor. So it's for the door, right? It's for one of the doors. The that was a helmet, right? The, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. There. Okay. Wow, then, I didn't know you could put it back in. Kind of like a. I'm gonna take this. Oops. No, I'm not. The, this <laughs> game is so like fucking. I don't know. So stiff, you know? It feel this game feels so stiff that I figured that you just couldn't do that. Uh, I'll agree, it's stiff, but th there are some intuitive things about it though. Like the controls are stiff. Uh, the everything is pre-rendered mostly. Uh, you're limited on items and shit. You got to use them correctly. You can royally just fuck yourself if you end up Using too many items. There you go. Can run, I step on a center? Run, run, run. Okay. I think that's only. Cause that's just Resident Evil 4, ain't it? It might, yeah. It's... Yeah, because I think you can take the arrow head off of that and there's some ammo. Usually they don't get back back up after the they fall down twice, well, right? Well, the, the way to know if they're dead... See that pool yeah, of blood? Okay. Uh, that's that's how you know that they're, they're down. Go in one of those doors. Uh, I'm going to... You said they all turn into what? They they turn in they mutate. Hard, so. They they mutate and they they get claws and they run incredibly fast. Damn. So any of them that you kill, you've got to at, at some point go back and burn if you're going to keep going through that path. And I think. Yeah. I, I think like so. You kind of got to avoid killing them if you don't absolutely. You don't have, have to fuck to. with them, do you? Yeah. No. 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 I'm not going to. A sword. Oh, there's, oh, there you go. there's a defensive, defensive item. Dagger. What was that? Huh. Oh, she's got like an auto lane thing. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh, I can What's push. That? I can push this. What's off. that on the? I can push it off the balcony. Watch this. Oh, okay. It's in her hand. It was... Zombie. Uh, 
Well, that thing in her hand, I'll be able to grab now. Oh, okay. That's not like some that. squish. It's going to be on the floor. Or in that door. Uh, it was locked left. with the oh. of a sword. Okay. This is the one I came came through. I guess I gotta go back through because there's nothing else I can really do there. And that door? That door was the emblem of. It's just it's locked on the other side. Just see that. Just run. Just oh, I can run past him. Oh. Woo! No, oh, the other one. That one. Yep. Grab one of these just to have on me. I was always running around carrying too much shit. You, inventory management is one of the biggest parts about this. Can you even That's, lay down an herb once you pick it up and it's like on the floor? No. No, man. Uh, I did get that arrow. Oh, um, I think you can take this arrowhead off of it. Mm -hmm. Four man's emerald. Okay. We went pat. We're we're at thirty two minutes. What are you wanting to do? You want to? Uh, are we gonna cut this up? Let's, a little bit. Yeah. Let's let's end this part right here and uh, look for part two. Bye.